What's up guys, Mark Lewis here. I am here today to show you some comparisons between my STL Tone Hub pack and my real amps. All right, so to get into it here, we're gonna switch back and forth between the real amp and the STL Tone Hub. The first preset I have here is a pretty typical setup for me, one of my favorite amps. It's a Driftwood Purple Nightmare through my Mesa traditional cabinet, not the oversize. It's got vintage 30s in it, uh, mic'd with an SM57 through a Neve 1073 into my Black Lion converters. So I'll hit play, let you hear the, the real amp, and then you'll see me click the S button. We'll switch back and forth between which amp you're hearing. So when the S is yellow, that's, that's the amp that you're hearing. Uh, let's check it out. We are at the next preset. Um, kind of a similar miking setup, but I used a different cabinet. This is with an Engel 412 with uh, Celestian Creamback 65s in it, and it is a Rhodes Colossus on channel three, uh, mode two. It's got an Aris Nebula drive in the front, one of my favorite new boosts, with an SM57 on the speaker through a 1073 mic preamp, and again through the Black Lion converters. Um, really cool sounding preset and came out really awesome here. So first I'll play the real amp and switch to the tone hub. You'll see me switching back and forth between each track on the S there. <laughs> Next preset we have is uh, preset 24. It's my PV6534. It's a, through, a, through a Mesa traditional cabinet, vintage 30s, SM57 through a uh, Neve 1073. It's got an Aris Nebula drive in front of the amp. Um, another chunky heavy rhythm sound. I really like this one. Uh, check it out. <laughs> All right, this preset is preset 35. I thought it was pretty cool because it's of my uh, modded Marshall JCM 800 that I had modified by Custom Audio Electronics. Long time ago, it's kind of become a bit of a legendary amp here at the studio. It's been on a lot of records and um, it's the only one like it in the world. It's a custom mod that I had done based off of their mod with some extra modifications. Um, that has an Aris TS preamp in front of it and uh, that is through an Engel 412 with 65 watt Celestian cream backs and SM57 through a Neve 1073. Uh, check it out, this is more of a, a vintage thrash rhythm sound. I really like this one, it's not something that um, is too common on a lot of the uh, preset packs that I've heard. All right, next preset is uh, preset 36. It's also my Marshall JCM 800 uh, custom audio electronics mod 
through the angle 412 with the 65 watt cream backs, um, SM57, Neve 1073. Uh, this one is really cool because it's a little bit more of a Van Halen brown sound, but a little bit more gain than than the vintage stuff, um, but really fun to play, really great for leads and rock rhythms all the way to kind of a thrashier sound. But uh, the idea was to really get more of a brown sound with this, um, and this amp really does it amazingly. Uh, check it out. All right, now check out preset 36 with the effects, which is the, kind of the full realization of what I wanted this sound to be. It's got some uh, reverb and delay on it with just a touch of phaser. Um, you can kind of get an idea of where I got got the the idea for those effects from, I think. <laughs> Next preset is uh, preset 28. It's a PRS Archon clean sound. I really love that amp for clean. Uh, it's one of my favorites, one of my go-to sounds lately. Um, so that's channel one of the Archon through a Mesa traditional cabinet, vintage 30s, SM57, Neve 1073, Black Lion audio converters. Um, I'll show you this one with and without effects when we're done. Let's check that one out with effects. Um, you can kind of see the, the real idea of this preset uh, once I have the verb and chorus and all that good stuff on it. This preset, uh, preset 32, it's a Rhodes Colossus on channel four. Um, it's a modern lead sound, but also does like classic, classic rhythm and leads really well. Um, it's really ultra saturated, but also really clear. Um, love that amp for this stuff. It's boosted with a, a Sheely Odelia overdrive that I've had for well over a decade. It was a prototype that was built for me that's now in production and that particular prototype's really special. So um, it's cool to use it on this. Uh, it's through a Mesa traditional cabinet, uh, vintage 30s, SM57, typical Neve 1073. And uh, here you go, check it out. Okay, let's check that preset out uh, with the effects kind of as I imagined it overall. Um, just got a little bit of verb delay and a touch of EQ on it. All right, uh, this preset I want to show you is uh, a little bit more of a classic crunch sound, uh, fairly medium gain. 
It's my uh, Diesel Herbert through an Engel 412 with 65 watt Creambacks, uh, Neve 1073, SM57. This one's a little bit for more mid-gain, classic crunch purposes. Um, just kind of show you the how well this plug-in does all, all sorts of gain. Uh, here you go.